Influencers, I'm Brianna, your temporary Friday spot on 7 OUAT Addicts. First of all, happy Wednesday. I am so excited for this episode. I am so excited to see Emma Swan and just find out how her story ends. And I've just been waiting for this for so long and I think this is going to be an amazing episode. Today's theme is thoughts on season seven, episode one, and predictions for the rest of season seven. I personally thought the first episode of season seven was incredible. I loved all the new characters. I loved seeing all the old characters return. It was just really, really good. It was a lot different than I thought it was going to be. I kind of thought it was going to be more similar to the pilot, and I'm kind of glad that it wasn't, and it kind of took its own path. Like, it does have similarities, but it's different, which is cool. My favorite characters are obviously Ronnie because I love Lana Priya, I love Regina, and I just love the way she plays Ronnie. Rogers because I love Holland Donahue and I love this new police officer he's playing. I don't know if it's just me, but he got even hotter. Like, is that possible? But he did. And then I'm really, really loving Lucy. Like, I can just really connect to her and she's so adorable. And she just really brings the character to life. She's a lot sassier than I thought she was going to be and I really like it. I also really like Cinderella's character. I mean, I knew she wasn't going to be a damsel in distress, but I didn't think she would be like this rough and tough and just like punching Henry and trying to kill the prince. Like, she is hardcore and I love her. I love her also in Hyperion Heights as Jacinda. She really fights for um, her daughter and for her life and she just is working really hard. The small part we did see of Tiana, I loved it. Like, we saw so little, but I'm in love with her already. Like, when we saw her in Hyperion Heights, I don't know, just the way, ugh, I love her. I really liked her outfit, too. And then it was really funny to see a sneak peek of her at the ball when she was like, oh, frog legs? No. And I thought that was really funny, just having that comparison in there. I really like how Adelaide Kane plays Drizella. I think she really, like, slays it. Work it, girl. Um, I love her in Hyperion Heights. I mean, obviously, she's evil and stuff, but she's not that bad. And I think she really is like a businesswoman, but I think she kind of is in her mother's shadow. And I can kind of see her throughout the season learning to stick up for herself. And then in the Enchanted Forest, or not the Enchanted Forest, but whatever realm they're in. Um, I like her as Gisela. I can obviously see that she's kind of like, she's definitely not good, but she disagrees with her mother. And she's like, I'm really going to go that far. So I can kind of see her, and I think throughout the season, she might have some development and kind of turn good-ish. I mean, Lady Tremaine kills the game. I obviously don't like her, like, character, the what she's doing to Jacinda and Lucy and stuff. I don't really like that, but I think she really, like, is an amazing character. I think Gabrielle Anwar plays her so good, and she's just so wicked and evil, and I really like her. I think the older Henry is really, really good. I think he kind of brings it to life. I can really tell how he's trying to find his own story in Hyperion Heights. He's a lot different because obviously he's cursed. Weaver is cray cray. Like, I did not see that coming. I mean, like, I don't know why I didn't see it coming. But I didn't, I didn't know he was going to be like this, like, evil or whatever he is. But I'm excited to see what happens next with him because he's just mysterious. And then there is Shady Alice, as McKenna would say. I dig her. Like, she is shady. Like, when she's jumping off those street buildings and just staring at them, and then she wants to see Weaver, and she's working with Weaver or something. And I also really like her back where she, like, drugged Henry and brought him in. And she's like, I know your grandfather and all this junk. And I'm like, yes, girl, slay. So, like, I'm really trying to figure out if she's, like, an evil character or she's just shady. I'm really excited to see more of her throughout the season because she's really mysterious. And then back to Ronnie, like, her character as a whole. I think she's a really strong woman, and I really like her personality. She's just fun-loving. I like her bar. It's kind of like the new grannies. And I really like in the end where she decides not to give up her bar, and she's like, you know what, I'm going to take a stand. And I think she, throughout the season, is going to take a stand against Victoria, and I think she's really going to be the person that stands up for everyone. And then I'm going to talk about the little things that I noticed. Like, for instance, on Henry's keychain, there is the Emma Swan necklace. And when I started, saw that, I started freaking out. I love how that's there. It's just so cool, especially because it originated as a keychain. And it's just so cool that he has that little memory of her. 
And then also when Officer Rogers was looking at the book, and there's a picture of Emma. I was dying. I'm just really happy that Jen might be leaving, but they're still going to keep the essence of Emma alive, and I'm really, really happy about that. I also really liked the beginning where it showed um, Henry talking to Regina about going away. I would obviously already seen that because it was like a sneak peek, but I really like how that incorporated and I loved seeing Jared and Lana as Regina. And I'm a little bit confused like how the magic bean works with that new portal thing it became. I think it's cool that Henry's on a motorcycle, but I really liked Regina and her being like afraid that Henry was going away but still wanting him to find his own story. And I loved Henry and Cinderella's reactions. I'm starting to ship it. And I'm really wondering how, when the season progresses, what, like, in season one, Emma knew she was Henry's mom. Like, yeah, she was in denial, but she knew. She knew she gave up a child for adoption. But Henry's cursed, so he doesn't think he's Lucy's father. And he doesn't even remember Cinderella or anything like that. So I'm a bit, like, confused. Like, I'm not sure how that's going to continue and if he's going to be sort of a father figure to Lucy without even knowing he's her father. I'm also confused about, like, what this old family he had that died in the fire, like, what that was. But I think it's really cool that he's still the author and that he wrote Lucy's new storybook and that he knows all the characters like when he was like, I didn't fly with Peter Pan and Jiminy Cricket is not my shrink and Snow White's not my grandma. I thought that was really cool because he knows the characters. He just doesn't know that they're like part of his story. And he kind of thinks he made them up, which is kind of funny. And then I also thought it was really funny when he walked into Ronnie's and he was like, imagine if I told you I was your son. And she's like, yeah, that would be a kicker. And I'm like, you are a son. So I don't have that many predictions for the rest of season seven because I'm usually always wrong. I've already said a couple. For this next episode of Pirate's Life, I'm 100% positive Emma Swan is pregnant. 100%. Like, there's so much evidence. The picture with their hand on her stomach. Her saying that Killian wanted her to rest. Like, why else in the world would he want her to rest? And she's not sick. She's, like, got the biggest smile on her face. And then she wants to tell Henry something, but she wanted to tell him herself. And then also, at the beginning of the other sneak peek, she said, what if I don't get a second chance? And her second chance is, like, getting to raise another child. So I'm 100% positive. I'm not really sure what's going to happen since she's leaving, but I'm pretty positive that there is going to be a child or a baby I don't even know if it's ever going to be born, but I think she's going to be pregnant. This episode, and I think that's going to be good. I'm pretty sure since it's kind of a closure for her that Rumpel is kind of be a, going to be at good terms because you never really know what to expect with them. But I think that's going to be great. I know Bex coming back is going to be amazing. I'm really excited to know more about Tiana because I really love her character and I know very little about her. I'm excited to see Rapunzel. So many people I'm excited to see. I know there's a couple um, cast members from previously coming back, and I'm really excited for all of that. But I think this episode of Number Swan is going to be incredible. I really hope she has a great ending. I'm going to miss her so much, but it's going to be okay. We still have all this other great season seven coming. But I do predict that Emma is going to stay in the show, and they're going to still show little things about her, like they did in the storybook and her necklace. And I think Officer Rogers might start questioning her because he was looking at that storybook weird like he remembered her. And so I'm pretty sure he might be like, I think I know her. Lastly, I'm not really sure when the curse is going to break. For instance, season one, it broke at the end of the season, but we don't really think we're getting a season eight. But if we are, we wouldn't want it to break till the end. So it might break halfway I don't think it will break anytime soon because it's really the main plot, but I don't think they can make it wait till the finale because this could be the series finale, if you know what I mean. Thank you guys so much for watching my opinion and my predictions. I hope you guys love the new episode and see you guys next week. Peace out, Oncers!